All right, guys, let's take a look at these crypto markets today. It's been about four or five days since I made a video. You know, the last video I made, uh, Bitcoin was making its way up to like $70,000. I think we hit like 70200 dumped, got rejected, went right back down to $67,000. Now, here we are a week later, right back up to $70,000, although this time it looks like we're pushing $71,000. So it's almost going to be like a deja vu video of the last couple weeks. Are we going to finally break that all-time high of $73,000. I've been saying, I think at least for the last four or five months, maybe six months, I believe that May was going to be boring and June is going to be bullish. We are now into June. We are at June 4th right now. And I do believe we're going to break all-time highs, like I've been saying, sometime in June, most likely within the next two weeks. And it looks like that could actually happen this week. Now, are we going to get rejected right now at $71,000, $73,000 and go right back down to 67? It's very possible because let's be honest, that's what's been happening for the last couple months. But like we've also been saying on this channel, the more times we hit that $71,000, $72,000, or at least go over 70, the higher chances we have of blowing past all time highs. And actually right now, I feel the bullishness coming back. You know, I was looking at the top uh, gaming coins, the top meme coins. Here's the top uh, gaming coins. You know, you're starting to see life brought back in. Some of these gaming coins I've never heard of, but you got this one, not coin, uh, in the gaming sector, up almost 165%. Overall, most gaming projects are up. Some are down, but I think they already pumped. But yeah, most gaming projects are up pretty good. I saw Vulcan Forge was back up to $6.00. So everything looking good. I saw with meme coins, meme coins overall looking good. I saw that Doge uh, was back up to 16 cents. Overall down the list, actually, this is still my gaming. Let me pull up uh, meme coins. So Doge back up to 16 cents. Shiba not looking too shabby. Everything's holding on strong. Either they're holding on or they're up or some of these meme coins that I've never even heard of are up like 50%. So I also noticed, which was making me, you know, think bullishness for the markets and thinking we're totally in a bull market, is GameStop. As you guys know, last crypto bull cycle, GameStop um, stock was manipulated by that kitty guy or whatever his name was. And, you know, that happened last bull market. It kind of it kind of set off the last crypto bull market where they basically took uh, GameStop stock which is a shitty company. Uh, it's kind of a dying company. And these guys decide to pump it. Wall Street bets decide to pump it. Well, that's happening again. Now you see them starting to pump it again, which also indicates to me that we're probably, well, I know for a fact that we're basically just repeating exactly what happened uh, last cycle. So uh, GameStock's been on the chair for the last couple of days. Probably won't pump as much as it did before. I feel like the powers to be aren't going to let that happen. They're probably going to shut it down. There's actually talks right now of them, um, of Robin Hood kicking that roaring kitty guy off of um, Robin Hood or wherever the hell he trades. So, But you're overall seeing people flooding into these meme coins and flooding into these meme uh, stocks, which of course means bullishness. Cardano price forecast. Uh, Cardano trading volume hits 300 million. What happens next? Cardano price rebounded above the 45 cent territory on June 4th after weeks of bear dominance. Recent market trends suggest that Cardano bottom is in and bulls could gain foothold, foothold in the days ahead. Uh, it's as simple as that, guys. If, if Bitcoin blows past all-time highs, we're going to have an alt season very soon after. Cardano is going to be right back up to 80 cents. A Cardano price reverses downward trajectory in June, which is what we've been saying on this channel for the last three or four months. We've called it 100%. We said June is going to be bullish for crypto, altcoins, and all that good stuff. And it looks like we are at least on track of being bullish because things are coming back and we're above $70,000 for Bitcoin. In May 2024, Cardano emerged one of the worst performing assets in the top 20 market ranking, closing the month with a 12% decline between May 21st and May 31st. The Cardano price struggle was attributed to negative impact of the Ethereum um, ETF approval. And like I've been saying on this channel for many, many months, everything Cardano is doing now, 
is the same exact thing Cardano did last cycle. The thing about Cardano is it really doesn't pump that hard until we get into alt season. And it also it also dumps really hard when we have negative news. So I fully expect Cardano to hit 5 to $8 at the top of this bull market. But guys, if you don't sell your Cardano when we're in alt season, Cardano is going right back down to 20 cents you know, in the next year or two when we go into a bear market. For whatever reason, Cardano just doesn't get that Solana venture capital. Um, it doesn't get that meme coin, you know, action behind it. It only pumps properly in the alt season. And if you don't have an alt season, um, Cardano is just not going to pump. But fortunately, it looks like we're going into alt season. But just remember, guys, you know, when Cardano finally hits that three, four, five dollar mark, we're going to be selling on this channel, getting the hell out, selling to all that dumb money. Because I do expect Cardano to dump very hard uh, in the bull market. There's no question about that. Also, uh, bullishness for crypto. As you guys know, uh, the, the fraud Trump trial last week, he was found guilty in New York. A bunch of liberals found him guilty of some stupid... Um, administrative crime, you know, the most, the, the most crazy thing in the world. But, um, as you can see, nobody cares about, um, these prosecutions against Trump anymore because people know it's all bullshit and it did not affect his polls whatsoever. I mean, the polls have already come out. Here's an article. Trump conviction barely dents his odds of winning election. I would actually make the argument that it helps him, you know, very hardcore liberals in my family that voted for Biden. One particular, my mom, uh, she was a big Biden person. <clears throat> she was also a big like Dr. Fauci person. She hates Dr. Fauci now. And every time, every time Trump is in the news right now about his, his, his convictions or his court hearing, she just keeps saying enough is enough. So like even her, she's like sick of it. So I do expect Trump to win the landslide, which is bullish for crypto. You know, we've been talking about how Biden is trying to come off a little bit, a little bit more, um, I guess you could say bullish on crypto because he knows he's going to lose the election. But I'm telling you guys, if somehow Biden wins this election, every positive thing he's talking about right now on crypto is going to, he's going to basically flush down the toilet and he's going to put Elizabeth Warren in charge of, of crypto. And that's going to be it. He's going to make sure he's going to make sure we do not get a bull market. Uh, Wisconsin pension plan likely to invest much more in Bitcoin. And that's not just Wisconsin. You can find other States as well. So Going into that bull market, you're starting to see uh, retirement funds uh, buy these Bitcoin ETFs, which in my mind, that pretty much means I really think, you know, the, the next six months are going to be like, there's going to be a astronomical inflows coming into Bitcoin and ETF going into that bull market, which like I've said, this could be one of the best bull markets we've ever had in crypto. We could get a $200,000 Bitcoin me personally, I'm shooting for 120, 130. That's when I'd be looking to get out. But with all this ETF action, we could get a $200,000 Bitcoin. I wouldn't write it off um, completely. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. We're pushing $71,000 right now for Bitcoin. Uh, I don't think we've gotten here in a while. We usually we get around 70,000, then we get rejected. Are we going to get rejected right now? You know, I think we have a 60% chance of blowing past all-time highs this week. I, I feel the bullish I feel the bullishness right now. I'm seeing the meme coins pump. We're seeing the GameStop pump. Um, and overall, May was gonna be bearish because of course the whole the old saying sell in May. I mean people are just stupid. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. So right now I really do expect Bitcoin to blow past all time highs. Now, are we going to get rejected right now and go right back down to 68 and then maybe start pumping back up at the end of the week or maybe next week? I really don't know. It's a guess. But I would say the odds are a lot better now in June than they were in May of us blowing past all-time highs. And of course, once we blow past all-time highs, these altcoins are going to go crazy and that alt season is right around the corner. Um, you know, just going down the top 50 list, everything's looking good. A lot of these coins up 5%, 10% over the last 24 hours. I saw Theta back down to $2.15, $2.16. Overall, anything above $2 for me on Theta is extremely bullish, especially since we haven't hit alt season yet. Cardano was like $0.47. Cents. Uh, Litecoin, $85. Everything's just kind of hanging on, waiting for alt season. So, guys, good things coming. Good things coming. I'm extremely excited. Once we hit alt season, I'll be making a lot more videos probably every day. Um, but as of right now, it's just a waiting game. But if you can't sense that it's right around the corner, you're not paying attention. All right, like and subscribe. Talk to you later.